Hey everyone, it is George Gross, and welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Hey, and this is uh, episode nine, and I'm going to be talking today about what I call the power of boring, right? And what do I mean by that? And like, is boring a good thing? And I think when we're talking about habits, we're talking about, you know, well-being, I think boring is one of the best things we can be. And uh, I'll start with something I heard. It's a quote. I've heard it from several people. So I don't really know the original source of this. I just want you to know it's not mine. And so uh, I've heard it from several people. But it's this idea of choose your easy or choose your hard, either one, right? And so basically the kind of saying goes is, you know, things that you can do right now um, that are easy, um, like eating poorly, right? Not, you know, not exercising, you know, not spending time uh, developing yourself, not time taking reading. What they'll actually do later is make your life hard. Is that you think about, you know, if you're not exercising, not eating, think about the health consequences, you know, um, um, well, if you're not eating healthy, if you if you think about the consequences long term and how that can lead to hard things. And I actually think about this as I'm kind of talking this out with you all, as I was thinking about, um, one of the things I, I noticed when I started losing weight and started kind of really getting my health in check was a lot of the things that I had blamed on old age started going away. Like my knees were just in pain all the time. My foot was always sore. My back was always, uh, I was really struggling with it. And all of a sudden I started losing weight and all those things started kind of going away. And some of the things that had kind of been hard uh, for me started to become easier, right? And and then the adverse of this is, you know, or you can do hard things now to make your life easier, right? So eating healthy consistently, not not the one-off meals, but eating healthy consistently um, might not be the most enjoyable thing, but it can make your life easier long-term. You know, working out every single day um, can make your life easier later. Being disciplined um, and, and working um, on on developing yourself, writing consistently, creating things consistently uh, can open up some doors for you later. And as I'm talking through this, a lot of people <laughs> will come to me and they'll say like, hey, I want to speak. I want to, you know, have this opportunity. I said, okay, um, so if you want to do the things that I'm doing today, are you willing for the next, say, 5, 10, 15 years, write a blog consistently, create podcasts consistently, create, you know, uh, videos, get ideas out there. And I think a lot of times what we want is we want that, that end point now without actually seeing the journey. Right. And I, I tell, and it's kind of the same thing too. Like with, like, if you even think about investing, the compound interest of like investing early and doing it consistently, that adds up quickly over time, but you just don't, you know, build wealth all of a sudden. That's not how it hopes for the majority of people uh, in the world. And so when you're thinking about like, you know, do you want to, you know, do hard things now to make your life easier later? Or are you going to do the easy later? It's something I, I think about quite a bit. And that's why I really talk about this power of boring. And when I think about the power of boring, I got to tell you, um, pretty much every single day, I do the same things. I... Um, I work out basically almost at the same time. I'm, I'm basically done almost within five minutes. Uh, and, I, and, and I'm not done because of the time. I have goals of things that I want to achieve, like step count, uh, calories burned. But I'm usually done within about a five-minute you know, um, variable uh, every single day. I eat almost every single morning the same breakfast. There might be one variation of protein here and there, but I eat pretty much the same breakfast every day. Uh, every day I spend a certain amount of time, uh, in my office doing work. And sometimes, you know, my routine is thrown off when I'm speaking, you know, doing, you know, presentations, things like that. Um, but when I'm creating when this is part of the work that I actually do, I find a consistent time to do that every single day. I have a snack almost at the same time every single day. I have almost the exact same thing every single day. And then at night, I eat uh, basically a variation of th- three meals. And um, all the meals are healthy. Uh, they're under a certain calorie count. And on 
Friday, um, basically I'll, that's when I have my one like really bad meal. And it's like Friday is something I'm not really, I, it's something I actually look forward to starting about Wednesday, Thursday, and then uh, Friday, I'm excited about it, eat it, feel like crap the next day. Uh, cause it's just, my body's not used to it, which is a good thing. Cause I think a lot of times I was feeling like crap all the time, but it was just my normal feeling crap was normal for me. And, uh, like my, my, my normal was eating whatever I wanted any other day. And I just kind of felt like I, I think about how I felt lethargic all the time, um, through that process. And so, uh, really, uh, you know, even, even having like some of those, you know, some of those, uh, you know, cheat meals that, that Friday, uh, reminds me of like why it's so important to eat healthy during the week. And I, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm Greek. We grew up in a restaurant. Food was like really central to our life. And that was like a, a big thing for me. But I think kind of, kind of seeing this, like having a consistency in what I eat. And somebody said this, you know, like, you know, and this is maybe not the best analogy might not excite you, is that, you know, like dogs are in really good shape because they literally eat the same thing every single day. And, you know, it's like they were talking about like this notion of like eat like a dog. And, you know, it might not be the most uh, powerful thing to share because I think a lot of times people are like, oh, like I, I went for this insane meal. I went for this crazy. I went for this, like just all of this all the time. And so they're, they might be kind of, you know, that's something that's really exciting. You know, food's like a great part of life. But I think a lot of times my treat was my norm. And what should have been my norm was like my trying to my recovery meal. Like I would eat unhealthy six, you know, dinners at a, a week. And then on the seven, I'm like, I, I got to eat vegetables, right? Where now I'm trying to do the opposite, right? I'm not like totally saying I'll never eat something unhealthy again. I'll never have those foods I really love. But it's saying like, hey, what's the consistent thing that I want to be doing? And I think for me, one of the things that was really helpful was I was eating salad every day and I was like eating salad because I thought, you know, you should eat salad because, you know, and I've, I mentioned the salad thing and like I've shared this before, I found foods that I loved that were healthy, not force myself to eat healthy food. Because if you're forcing yourself, you will not be able to stick with it. And I think finding that consistency and like when you look at this on a professional level, you want to get to a certain place, right? Um, I see a lot of people saying like, I want to do this, this. And I'll say like, hey, why don't you show this? Nah, nah, right? I'm like, I don't know if you really want to get there. I think you say you want to get to a certain point, but are you willing to do the consistent things daily to get to that point, to get to that process? And when I was, um, you know, administrator, when I was, you know, teaching a school, I, I had a consistent, you know, I would do certain things every day. I would write uh, every single night. I would blog basically every single day. And I created that space where writing became a norm for me that when I decide to write a book, it becomes such an easy process because I do these things consistently. And they might not seem exciting to you, but long term, the hope is they lead to easier opportunities later. And I think sometimes we just want the good right now. We want the easy right now, but sometimes you got to make the hard decision consistently over time to get the easy later. And so I want you just to think today as uh, I'm sharing these ideas, sharing these thoughts with you, what is like something, whether it's personally, whether it's professional, maybe it's both. What is the consistent thing you can do daily that you know is good for you? And what do you hope that it will lead to? I know that's going to seem hard five years from now, right? And five years seems like a long time away, but I'll tell you, like, it, it just goes like that. It goes so quick. And uh, one of my favorite stories is this, and it's like an internet story, right? I read it online, some forum. I've seen it shared several times, is that um, somebody was telling their mom, you know, I want to be a doctor, but, you know, it's going to take me 10 years to do this. And, you know, by the time I'm, you know, done school, I'll be 30, right? And the mom says to her daughter, hey, you're going to be 30 in 10 years anyway. You might as well be a, a, a doctor at 30, right? And it's kind of saying like, hey, I don't want to put in that work because, you know, it's going to take me to, you're going to be 30 no matter what, right? You're going to be 50 no matter what. You're going to be 80 no matter what. Um, hopefully. And so when you kind of think about that, thinking about those consistent things, five, 10 years from now, what can they lead to? So, you know, finding that hard right now 
is going to lead to, some, and I think what kind of is amazing, I think for me is that, at, I can't remember, it was like a boxer or some athlete said this. I actually have learned to love the hard, I, to love eating healthy. And I, I, it makes me feel better. It makes me, feel, and it, it actually makes, you know, it's not the 10 years from now, it's embracing those things in the moment. So what are those consistent things you can do that, you know, might not seem the most exciting thing in life, but can lead to something better long-term. So I hope you enjoyed that on this episode of Mindset Monday. I have one more episode in this series. Um, I'm kind of just sad about it. I love recording these uh, and sharing them with you, and I hope they're helpful. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so comment down below. Um, and if you'd love to see, you know, another uh, series of this, maybe in 2022, I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for another episode, listening to another episode of Mindset Monday. All right. Have a wonderful day. Take care.